Hello my loves and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to take you with me throughout a somewhat typical day and show you some of the aligning habits that I've built, or at least that's what I'm calling them. These are just habits that you can do throughout your day that really help you slow down, tune back in, and recenter yourself. And it's not a checklist, it's not something you have to do or should do, but it may be just some things that you can slowly incorporate into your day, especially if you feel like you need to reconnect to yourself. So first things first, you can say I always have to pump because I'm still pumping and making milk for Arlo. So I try to really leverage this time by meditating. And you can see I also use this app on my phone. I don't get on my phone and check social media. I don't check any of my emails, any of that. I should even put it on airplane mode, but I am using it to get a meditation off inside timer. I just use the filter to find about a 10 minute long meditation. You can see the one that I did today was a gratitude meditation. Welcome to this gratitude meditation. I am Isra. Then typically after my meditation, I open up my Notion app, and this is just a fun app you can really use for so many different purposes. I've just created a template that I can use to journal in the morning, and you can see I have a morning section, and then at the end of the video, you will see my nighttime section, but I just list some intentions for the day. They're usually about the same, you know, just some reminders for myself that everything I need is within me. I'm gonna do all things with love, presence and compassion abundance flows to me with ease you can really do whatever you want here but these are just intentions and reminders that i need throughout my day i list what i'm grateful for because gratitude is the highest vibration you can have and then I just journal a little bit and I don't have any expectations for journaling. It could be anything that's on my mind or sometimes it's messages from my internal guidance, but it just gives me space to keep all of this in one spot. I do like doing this on my phone, but again, just be careful that you're not actually getting on your phone here. And then I spend the rest of my time while I'm pumping because I pump for about 30 minutes in the morning to read. You can see I'm reading the holographic universe here. Man, guys, this one is just blowing my mind. It is deep, it is profound, and it is so good. I'm going to do another video on what I'm reading this spring because I found some really good books. But I've been loving this one in the morning because it really just helps me expand my perspective before I start my day. And if you've read this one before, let me know. It is truly mind-blowing and will make you question everything about reality. Now I did film this video on a Wednesday and Wednesdays are special because Arla goes to daycare and Steven's working from the office. So I get a little bit of extra time for myself, especially in the mornings after they leave. So if I'm still finishing my pre-workout drink, which I showed in my morning routine video, I'll sit down and read a little bit more as I'm finishing that drink. It's so nice to just have a little time to myself, you know, whether you're a mom or not, just sitting down and enjoying that time and doing something that truly fills your soul feels so good. And then after reading just a little bit more, I like to do a morning stretch. Now this is nothing intricate, nothing special. I just try to let my body guide me in what feels right, what stretches I need in the morning. But guys, sometimes this wakes me up more than my coffee does. And I love my morning coffee. I look forward to my morning coffee when I'm going to bed. I love it that much. But stretching and moving in the morning, especially intuitive movements and some yoga, really helps wake up my body and just starts me off on literally and figuratively the right foot here. So you can see I'm even like struggling with some of my balances here. I'm not doing it perfectly by any means. I didn't even roll up my yoga mat. Don't overcomplicate this, but do some kind of movement and stretching in the morning. You will not regret it and your body will thank you. Thank you. 
As I mentioned in my morning routine video, my outlook on exercise has really changed. I do it to show appreciation for my body and because I truly enjoy it. So whether it's going to the gym and just doing a quick 20 minute workout that has nothing crazy on my body or just getting outside and walking, I just try to move in the mornings because it feels good. Not to punish my body, not because I think I should do it, just because it feels aligning for me. And today you can see I'm listening to a podcast on Regina Meredith's podcast. She has a show on Gaia. Love her. I'm going to link this episode in the show notes because it was mind blowing. But I love going outside, looking at the palmies, soaking up the sunshine. And then of course I come back and make my smoothie. My recipe really hasn't changed that much over the years. One thing I am doing differently recently is I'm using half kale, half spinach, just a little handful of both to start off with just to get a mixture of greens in first thing in the morning. And then after that, I always like to put in some dates. This is actually something I started when I was pregnant because there's research out there that says that having a few dates a day is really good at the end of your pregnancy. I don't know if that's true, but dates are delicious and they are such a healthy and easy way to sweeten up a smoothie if you're a smoothie girl like me. And then of course I have a huge spoonful of peanut butter. I've always been obsessed with peanut butter, but you could use almond butter or any nut butters. I really have to try my best not to eat the whole jar of peanut butter because I love peanut butter that much. But of course I lick my finger and I lick the spoon because you've got to. Then I always add this plant-based protein. This is a brand I've been using and really like, but if you have a protein you're loving, a plant-based protein, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for new ones. I've been into the chocolate flavor and it just adds a little extra flavor to my smoothie, some extra protein. Okay, and then I'm too excited about this oat milk. It's a really hard to find decently priced oat milk that doesn't have all the gums and preservatives. I found this smaller jug, it is smaller, at Trader Joe's and it's just oat milk and it was delicious. It looked a little bit different so you can see I was almost a little concerned at first but I think that's because it doesn't have the preservatives in it. So highly recommend if you have a Trader Joe's near you, get your oat milk there, get your eggs there, get your syrup there, get your almond butter there. It's decently priced and delicious and doesn't have all the stuff that you don't want in it. Then I usually add just a little bit of ice to make it a little bit thicker, but again, it's up to your preference. And then voila, you have got your morning smoothie. Again, there are so many variations on this smoothie. This is what I'm enjoying right now, but I take this, bring it upstairs to my office, open the window and get to work for the day. Finally getting to work. <laughs> this is around like 7.30 ish. So as you guys know, I do have a full-time job but I do work from home most days, which is nice. So it's good to get some of these aligning habits in, in my morning. I think the way you start your morning is so important. Now, since this is an aligning habits video, I thought it would be interesting to show what I'm eating throughout the day. So a little bit later in the morning, I do make some oatmeal with some almond milk and oats and chia seeds and cinnamon that I sometimes spill everywhere because cinnamon has a mind of its own. I'm always spilling it. When I stir the pan, it goes everywhere. And then finally, we get to the main event of the morning, which is my morning coffee. I have my morning coffee with my Vital Proteins Collagen. That's what I'm using at this time and space. It does make my coffee delicious. And then I add just a little bit of stevia and voila, it is so yummy. Hello, my friends. I hope you've been enjoying this little peek into my day and my aligning habits and what I eat. I just want to say too, like even though this is a busy day, Arlo's at daycare, I'm working from home, I'm trying to get as much done as I can. It's really good to remind yourself as you're watching this video or as you are going throughout your day that your worth is not in what you do and what you produce. Like yes, it feels good to cross things off a list, like our brains are wired to get that serotonin hit, but you are worthy no matter what. 
no matter what you accomplish or don't accomplish. And don't get overwhelmed by looking at this video and being like, oh my gosh, Lindsay can get so much done. Like, why can't I get that done? Or why am I not doing these things? Or I should be doing more. No shoulds. You know, I hate the word should. And check out my podcast episode about feeling unproductive and being okay with that and remembering that your worth is not in your productivity. You are worthy no matter what. And sometimes you're just unproductive. Like some days you have days that you don't get much done and that's okay. You still have beautiful moments. So I'll leave a link to that podcast episode. All right, back to my day. And then honestly, some days you just have to stop what you're doing, slow down, go sit somewhere and take a nice few deep breaths. This is not something I remember to do intentionally every single day, but when I do remember to do it, I feel so much better afterwards and it is so simple. You don't have to go sit in a hanging chair like I am. You can even just go to the bathroom at your work spot if you need to. Go close your eyes, place your hands on your heart and take a few deep breaths or just go sit in silence. But really focusing on your breathing is so simple. You can do it literally anywhere and is always aligning and always brings you back to yourself and your internal guidance, which I know we need more of throughout our days. Okay, this is another new habit that I've recently started and that is just drinking a little bit of kombucha or I call it booch every single day because it is so good for your gut health. And then of course, when Steven and Arlo get home, we go outside and take a walk again. If it's beautiful out, which it has been so beautiful out recently. Oh, look at Arlo's cute face. And it just feels so good to get outside with the family, catch up. And then tonight I made cauliflower tacos. 10 out of 10, so delicious. Tasted like I got them from a restaurant. All right, loves, so that's a wrap on an aligning day or a day where I'm showing you the habits that I try to do just to keep myself in alignment or that I do when I feel like I'm getting out of alignment. And it's not about doing these every single day. It's not about crossing these off on a checklist, even though I do that sometimes. It's about pausing, slowing down, tuning back in, throughout your day, especially when you have a really busy, hectic day. So I just encourage you to grab a few of these if they feel right to you. Again, tune into yourself. You don't have to do these every single day and they can look different from what I'm doing. Maybe it's just switching out some of your foods, your processed foods for some more whole foods or plant-based foods, whatever, again, feels right to your intuition, your internal guidance. I'm just going to end my day by watching a show on Gaia. You guys know I love Gaia. I also have some chocolate-covered sugar and salt almonds from Trader Joe's in a flavored water. It's my favorite way to end the day. So I'm going to do that. I'll probably stretch one more time. And then I also have the second half of my little journal on Notion, which I will show on here. So sending you all so much love, all the highest vibes. Let me know if you like this video, like and comment below what you're going to incorporate maybe in your day from here on out. And of course, I will see you in the next video.